My friends, a neurographic line is a unique line. This is a line of freedom, a line of life. You know how people say, God works in mysterious ways. A lot of things don't turn out the way we expect it. Our great idea is that we can negotiate with reality, driving our life in a certain direction. Neurographic line carries the same idea. It leads to where you don't expect to see it. It does not repeat itself on any part of its movement. It does not repeat itself the same way the next day it does not repeat the day before. Today is different from yesterday, and tomorrow is going to be different from today. The philosophy of the neurographic line in this sense is freedom. Freedom, even from the person who is drawing the line. The line that we are officially calling the Piskarev line is a line that appears when you let go, when you let things happen, when you let your line go somewhere interesting. Interesting always means excitement, not just spontaneously, freely, in a relaxed way. Excitement means we are challenged with novelty, challenged with adaptation to the future, challenged with having to adapt to some new, unexpected conditions. A person is mobilized and lives with interest when he has something unusual in his life. This neurographic line that I'm drawing right now is unusual to me. Where is it going to turn? Surely I have some intention. I want to explore the field, the space on my sheet. I want to connect point A to point B. I want to live according to my plans. Inside us, there is an energy that doesn't show itself if we are bound by structure. Energy that creates some sort of chaos, inner entropy, and destroys us if we are too goal-directed, too straightforward in the way we move, if we only move the way it's easy. Uncovering the potential of our mind starts when we begin doing unexpected things, maybe even a bit dangerous, when a line has some risk to it, risk that all of us need to know that we are not living in a perfectly protected universe. This way life is too sober in its ways. When I draw a line, I'm breathing. It's really important to connect this movement to my bodily sensations. It's really important how my body is reacting, so I don't rush when I'm drawing the line. I wait for the bodily effects to unfold. I let the sensations and the emotional effects to catch up with me. People who rush are too tied to the result. You need to draw a line so slowly that the results of your actions have enough time to catch up with you. This not only concerns graphical things, this is about life in general. A lot of people are rushing, constantly transforming the environment, but to get results from your actions, you need to slowly come of age. Material reality has this sort of inertia to it. It means that we need time to overcome this inertia. We need to give life some time to accelerate. We need to give things a chance to unfold, to happen. When parents give birth to a child, they don't ask him to be grown up, successful and effective right away. No. They nurture and nourish the child. Drawing a neurographic line means nurturing the experience that's connected to the topic that we define in our graphics, in our drawing. For me, drawing a line is simply a pleasure, a pleasure to experience life, the joy of being present. And presence is not related to total relaxation in any way. Presence is deeply connected to the feeling of being, the feeling of being mobilized. I think it is important.
You know, being able to feel pleasure is important. We don't have a special culture to it. What is pleasure? Breathe out. When you draw a line, breathe out. Smile. Greet whatever is coming out of your hand. Greet the effects that your art is making. Greet the effects that you are making in your life. Say, wow, I made it. I did not expect that. This is how it happens in life. Neurographica is very psychological and so closely tied to being. With a sheet of paper we get all the effects in life, we learn to live. This is not a shame to do at any age. Learning to live is always pleasant and always useful. I feel aesthetic joy. When we're talking about neurographica aesthetic coaching, the point is in being able to switch into a state of ecstasy, no matter the topic you're working on. And when we have a theme in your head that's connected to feeling joy and ecstasy, everything becomes easy. Your unconscious tends to repeat this feeling of ecstasy. Your unconscious wants to repeat pleasure. But instead of sweets or sandwiches, you get something more elegant, more delicate more objective. For me, the effect is in my inner state. When I start working on a difficult topic, I feel tense. But when I've finished drawing it, I can't stop the sensation of pleasure. I'm looking at my theme, I close my eyes and try to remember what I've started with and everything has already changed inside of me. Only because I've drawn a neurographic line. My reality changed. My configuration of neural networks has changed. A miracle has happened in just three minutes. Draw your lifeline. Draw it. This is the meaning of the Piskarov line. This is how it is called now. The miracle of art creates the miracle of life. That's it. Please stop it. Please, I can't stop. They say there are people who don't draw. But where do you get so much strength to keep yourself from drawing? Where do people get their energy to stop themselves from drawing? You know, grumpy people are the strongest people. How much power do you need to save up to suffer? It is much simpler and economical to lead a wonderful, rich and happy life. Yes, gloomy people are the strongest people. So we will show them no mercy. If the person is suffering, he or she is demonstrating strength, and we can show our support for such a person. If you want to sulk, please do. And for you we have a neurographic line, a line for people who are experiencing pleasure, joy, who are in the state of Eros. A neurographic line is the Eros line a line that celebrates life. You know, in the beginning of the 20th century, people said that all Freudian interpretations are just a sublimation of marker envy. 